Yeah, and I can think of several people that ought to retire. <laughs> <laughs> Retirement party. Yeah, we're going to say goodbye to some Give it people. up, Johnson. Right, give it up. <laughs> Hang it up. I'm Laban Johnson. I'm Larry Bly. How are you doing? We're so glad that you could be with us today. Now back off. <laughs> I'll get you. I'll get you. I got the old-fashioned one that you crank. We're oh. going to do a retirement party today. Yep. And the Cook Sisters are coming by later. They're coming by. We're and going to read some letters. Wacky stuff going on. Miss Witch is going to be here. I see that we have a, a new instrument yes. of death here on I've, the old. I've got to read this letter that came in. <laughs> said, Dear Larry and Laban, my family and I really enjoy your show, so on, so on, so on, so on. Um, what are some of the hand signs going on behind the scenes? <laughs> they want to know what the crew is doing. Well, they're signifying to us frequently about their opinions about what we're doing. Yeah, this one means smack your mama right, right. upside the head. <laughs> That's what that means. And, um, then there's that presidential salute that oh, they occasionally give us. All right, <laughs> one show we watched had Laban saying how much he hated electric can openers, I agree. Yeah, yeah. I have one. Because your mama was attacked uh -huh. when you were a baby. Right. Yeah. Said, I have one. It was given to me. It's kind of worn out, but it will open cans if you hit the top to make it stop. <laughs> so since I saw how much Larry enjoys banging on blenders, I figured you could use this opener on your show. Do you think it will go with the decor? Keep us laughing. My two teenage sons just love to see what you're going to do next. Your show is the best thing since the Three Stooges keep having fun. If you're ever in Central Texas, stop by to see us. And that's from Catherine Bedrick and her family. You got to try one of those cans on it yes, to see if it I'm works? Yes, I'm going to open up this can of This is soup. exciting. It really is. See, I, I always thought the electric can openers were kind of dumb until I won one at the great uh, uh, TV. The, uh, this television station had a big party one year, and I want a can opener, an electric one, and I love it. It's the only decent thing I ever got from this TV station, except a lot of hard times. Well, you've got one. How do you do it? <laughs> <laughs> That's pretty good, all right. Well, I've never used one exactly like this, Laban. Well, somebody opened a can with it a while ago. Doris, did you open a can with this? Huh? Oh no! Now you got it. Our fine new can it didn't work. that we just got. Said if you beat on the top of it, it would open the can. And the can's still shut. Let me have that. I swear. <laughs> <laughs> I think I broke it. Oh, it has been maimed for life. <laughs> Broke our new can opener. Uh -huh. Oh, wait a minute, it's unplugged. Uh -huh. No wonder. You did that on purpose. <laughs> I didn't. I, had I know do. you did. Look, it's hanging. The strip is hanging on it. That's. There you go. Yeah. Now, there you go. Well, there I mean, you don't go. Here he does. <laughs> <laughs> and we were afraid we wouldn't be able to fill 30 minutes today. <laughs> well, how do you get this thing done? <laughs> so it's half over. <laughs> Do you know how to operate one of these, Doris? You've used one of these. Come over here. Get in here. Show us how to operate. Come in here. Show us how to operate. Do you know how to, you never used one of these? Well, who, did somebody, somebody use Somebody opened a can. I think I opened a can earlier with it, come to think of it, but I've forgotten how. <laughs> well, anyway, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> we'll practice and next week we'll do it. We'll <laughs> cook something. I'm so disgusted. I just can't It's been one of those days around the old ranch, boys and girls. I'm going to do crabby potatoes. <laughs> I, don't, I guess they are crabby. <laughs> They've been laying around waiting for over an hour. <laughs> How appropriate. This one has been <laughs> this one's been around so long it's calcified. <laughs> and not only that, but I've lost my you know, took my knife, Judson. Uh, we didn't take it. You left it over. Get yourself a couple of nice <laughs> baking potatoes. These are russets, I think. I can't remember, but I think they Russ, are. Russ, who's he? I, well, he's the guy that made this oh. potato. <laughs> Grease the outside of it with just a little Crisco or something, a little Shultman, and take 
a fork and poke some holes in it. That's the most important part of it right there. Because oh, if you yeah. don't poke the holes in it, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, they will explode and put your eye oh, out. Oh, come on. They'll put your eye out. They will. I swear. <laughs> they won't put your dog out. They'll put your eye out. <laughs> put, them, put them right on the rack. Don't put any tin foil around them or anything. But you Just, have to tie a little string to the top and one to the bottom. And then <laughs> put them on the rack. Just, just lay them directly on the rack and bake them at 400 degrees. You got one in your basement too. 400 degrees for one hour. I'm not going to get through this recipe if it kills me. Then you let it cool till the skin gets kind of wrinkly like Johnson's. Look. Kinda, like Johnson's what? Face. So anyway. <laughs> And then, am I turning red? And then you cut it in half and you take the pup out of it. <laughs> Up where I come from, they don't say pulp, they say pup. Pup. And just take a spoon whoop, whoop. and just dig that stuff out of there. Whoops. Now be careful because you could ruin the whole side of it and thus ruin this entire presentation. So it would be nice if I showed people what I'm doing. Just, you know, dig some of it out of there and put it into a bowl. Now you've got to do that with four baking potatoes. There's one. If you want to tell people what you're doing while I'm doing this, it's going to take a couple of minutes. I, I know oh. I told you. you well, I can't do anything because I have to have a, <laughs> I have to have a can opener. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> and I know that that crabby reviewer, no, you, speaking of Doris crabby has potatoes, one. that crabby reviewer from, <laughs> from House and Garden. Who said that the only thing <laughs> we know how to do is open cans. Right. Well, yeah. you're going to see how to do it, baby. Here you're you watch. Go. I doubt if they watch. There's they a real, now, there's a real TV. can opener. No, he said he'd never watch yeah. the show again. Well, I hope he never does. <laughs> you don't have to worry about him anymore. He said it was the worst TV show he'd ever seen. Now, I'm going to do a, a peanut butter soup that was sent in to us by Drina Brown of North Augusta, South Carolina. And Drina? Hope, yeah. And I hope North Augusta is still there since that was Drina. D-R-E-N-A. Drina. Oh, Drina. I thought it was Drima. No, I've heard Drina. Of Drima, but I yeah, heard I knew of Drina. a girl. Gladys Diver's daughter was named Drina. Gladys Diver's? I thought she was, well, never mind. No, no. She, Gladys she is a good woman. <laughs> well, All right. good. Hope and anyway, to start out making this peanut butter soup, you have to have a can of green pea soup. That's right. So while Larry is finishing up his potatoes, I will be opening up a can of green pea soup, a 12 ounce can of evaporated milk, a can of cheddar cheese dip, a jar of peanut butter, Good and Lord. reopening a bag of light brown sugar. Well, and I hope so, don't are you getting close to being ready? Oh yeah, I hope okay. you don't rupture yourself. Well, I'm going to go ahead and start opening cans while Larry is finishing. I am still digging these taters out. See, this is the oh, kind of can opener that I prefer to use anyway. It's the kind I have at home. Matter of fact, I brought the kind I have at home with me today since I wasn't sure, you know, just whether Doris would be here with her can opener. And knowing that I had all these cans Yeah, to Doris open, has taken to taking the can openers with her. Well, she's wise. So when she's because not here. Because if you don't do that, it'll be pilfered. That's true. They pilfer. They disappear. We have knives and things that go out for a walk around here and never come back. We had a bowl that went out for a pizza one day. and it was But I'll tell you one thing. There's not a can unopened at the general manager. Oh, house. look. <laughs> oh, no. Say it isn't true. Don't tell me he's Just coming kidding. back in here. <laughs> I didn't know he knew where our studio Just was. Just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay, before we get ourselves into it, right. am, am I really that red or do, are know, they still you, working you, on the camera? You know, you, know uh, you know that manager we used to have? Okay, now, yeah. Wait a minute, you know, you, you know the one we used to have that yeah. we used to talk about, Rex? Mm -hmm. right. We heard from this guy from the Teamsters that he was buried under... <laughs> <No>. <laughs> the south end of the studio. Okay, now here's what we've done, boys and girls. we got to move along here. We're going to be into somebody else's show here in a couple of minutes. Okay, those four large baking potatoes you have, we're going to take all that stuff out and put that half stuff, put the pulp in there. Then we're going to whip the potatoes Woo! with a quarter to a half cup of margarine, which I have dumped in there. All right, that's about a half a stick, Miss Doris and I figured out. A third to a half a cup of heavy whipping cream. Be careful, you don't want to get this stuff too runny. I experiment around with it just a little bit if I were you. 
a teaspoon of salt, boink, uh, eighth of a ground, uh, a teaspoon of ground red pepper. I think you're supposed to save the red pepper for, no, the paprika gets okay, all right. Huh? Yeah? No. Huh? No? Yeah. Hmm? No. No. And then what else here? Uh, four teaspoons of grated onion. Oh, okay, I got a grated onion. I knew there was something I needed to do. I knew I had this onion for something, and I couldn't remember what it was. I thought that I was going to rub it in Laban's eye to make him cry again like I did one time on the show, and we won that Academy Award for uh -huh, your yes. performance. <laughs> but now, just, just grate a little of it. How much does it say? Pay attention, Doris. <laughs> Doris keeps going to sleep on me. Just grate that in there. Oh, you know that's going to be good. I just love I just love it. You think I got enough yet? Yeah, it's getting pink, so I'm sure you do. <laughs> <laughs> that's funny. It was purple earlier. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right, now a little bit of black pepper. We need to put in, uh, oh, a cup of grated cheese. Where'd the black, black pepper go to? Doesn't say nothing about black pepper. <laughs> I must have just made that up. You did. <laughs> Forget that. You don't need that. You don't need that. Okay, and then we got to put in there a cup of uh, grated sharp or cheese. Or as we say here in the South, don't give me no black pepper. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Laban has eaten some of this. Was it real good cheese? It was excellent. It was real good. You like my cheese today? Johnson has to. Was I supposed to measure it? No, 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 no. I'm not. No, I thought you put that on. Cup of grated cheese, top. whip in. Oh, that's got to be whipped in. It says, and then you fold in everything else. That's true. It seems to me like it get mighty messy, but that's what they say to do. And I'm going to go by the recipe, and this onion's starting to get on my nerves real bad on my nerves and in my eyes. You could just guesstimate on this cheese. I mean, ain't nobody gonna get upset if you get a little too much or not enough. How much is this? Yeah, a little plastic. I always like to work a little plastic in there. I asked Laban, he's eating rubber at my house and this stuff. Oh, yeah. Remember that, that rubber meal I, when I got <laughs> served you? With my, served me with the little uh, washer at the bottom, the bottom of, the, of my <laughs> blender. <laughs> And I didn't even, acorn squash I didn't even know it until the end of the meal. I saw all that green rubber laying around <laughs> on your plate. He was one of the few times he's ever been polite to me. He didn't I say didn't, a word about didn't it. Didn't throw it up? Nary yeah. a word. All right. I just got a little artifact. In my... Just whip that stuff up as much or as little as you like. I don't like it. Ooh, whip smell real. that onion. Doesn't it smell good? Uh huh. Just leave it a little lumpy, all right? Take your lumps. Now we got to fold in about a six ounce can of drained crab meat, which I have put here in the old refrigerator. Drained crab meat. And I got to tell you, this is not the cheapest stuff we've ever bought, but a little can isn't going to break in. It does serve one, two, three, four, five, seven, eight people. So you can't complain about See, that. See, that means since he's doing four potatoes, everybody gets half a potato. So that's four times two is eight. Or you can that's serve. That's for all you little kids that are trying to learn your multiplication. Or you can serve four people one whole potato with two halves each. Uh -huh. <laughs> that's four divided by eight divided by two is four. Okay, now you fold that in there. Where's my folding device? There it is. There, now that's how you fold it in there. Put that in there. And now what you're going to do is you're going to refill the shells and then refill you're going to top that with a little bit of paprika, all right, to make it look real pretty. And you're going to put it back in the oven, 450 degrees for 15 minutes. And then you serve it and that's that. So what I'll start doing now and then I'll throw it back to Mr. Johnson as I'll start refilling these. Beautiful overhead shot. Oh, yes, 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 isn't it gorgeous? Take that and a little bit of the paprika just to make it look real pretty. And you'll bake that for 15 minutes. So I gotta get going and get these things in the oven being that I don't have 15 minutes. But hey, you can serve it raw and it would be great, really. I mean, it's true, everything is done. So Laban, 
Uh-huh, yeah, ah, uh, yeah, right. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Take it away. Now, I have got in this pan the can of green pea soup and the 12-ounce can of evaporated milk. That does not take a college degree to put that together. All right. Now, to that, I'm going to add two tablespoons full of creamy peanut butter. One. You thought I was going to drop it down. Boy, this smells good. Mm. What, the peanut butter? No. My potatoes smell wonderful. <laughs> you are right, Judson. Well, I've just tried, Doris, I need a paper towel or another spoon, whichever one is easier. Or if you got a light. <laughs> or perhaps if you can and run you down the street. And when you get that in there, now your soup is supposed to be hot and you stir it around. I better have two other spoons. Thank you so much because I've got to. <laughs> All right, now. I'm going to add two tablespoons of brown sugar. And I wish Mick was here to sing. Oh, well, he is. Didn't I tell you? Oh, is he coming in? <laughs> Booked him on the show today. All right. I don't think I'm going to get this done, but <laughs> I think I'll be playing with this till next week. All right. Two oh, tablespoons no. oh, of no. brown sugar. I'm oh. sorry. That will not do. <laughs> I'm sorry. Well, do you have to have yours on brown? You have just messed up badly, Bly. Or broil. <laughs> you are way off the mark. I put yours on broil. You know, we need broil. Yeah. Well, that, that way it says it'll, bake it. Well, I know, but it'll do it. All right, now I've got my sugar in there and my peanut butter. Yeah, let him eat it raw. Ooh. Well, the crab meat's already processed. It's cooked. Well, that's what I said. Everything yeah. in it is cooked, so uh, so big deal. I mean, deal. worse than that. Huh? All right, now. Oh, okay. I'm going to add Who cares? Two, <laughs> two tablespoons of cheddar cheese dip <laughs> go into tired. this thing. <laughs> You're tired. <laughs> Are you done yet, Johnson? I'm getting close. <laughs> well, listen, while we're, do while we're doing this, <laughs> Let's break the Cook Sisters here. They, uh, oh boy! We've got the camera crew out on the back porch, uh -oh. and let's invite them to come on out and give us another pearl of wisdom because we certainly need a pearl of wisdom right now. For bring those old girls before. in. We love them. And, and they're coming up again. Oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> they can't even count to ten around. Hey, Coach. Huh? You remember this? Oh, it's a, you used to pump me up with that. I'll never forget no, it when no, I felt no. deflated. Now, this is our old mayonnaise maker. You, oh. Yeah, you put your egg and your uh, lemon juice and your vinegar and your mustard, salt, and pepper and a little sugar in here with the oil, and you just pump away till glory days. How long would you do it? Till it was ready. Oh. I'm Sister Cook. And I'm Tootsie Cook. And, and we're, we're the, the Cook Sisters. sisters. <laughs> They're a scream, those girls. Well, my soup has been thoroughly mixed up, and it's done. That's all. This is a really easy. I easy. tell you, that is a beautiful looking soup. It really is. <laughs> oh, come on! It's not, now it is. It's good look. It does. You know, we kindly have, favor other things, but I mean. <laughs> We have got some rude staff members this uh, year. Well, you'd be rude too if you had to work on this show. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, now, I guess you're right. While we're standing here, let's go over the recipes. Huh? Let's do the receipts. Oh, yeah, 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 okay. And they'll be coming up now, in the Here's, there they here's are. what they the look like. Peanut butter soup. Can of condensed green pea soup. Uh, one 12 ounce can of evaporated milk. Two tablespoons of creamy peanut butter. Two tablespoons of brown sugar and two uh, tablespoons or more of canned cheddar cheese dip. What could be easier? This, crabby potatoes. Well, you get yourself four big crabby baking potatoes and a quarter to a half cup of margarine gets added to the pulp along with some heavy cream and a teaspoon of salt and an eighth of a teaspoon of ground red pepper and four teaspoons of grated onion which really makes it good. Grated sharp cheese, put a little paprika on. Oh, then you fold in the, the drained crab meat, which you can buy a little six ounce can of, not terribly bad. And then mix that all up, put it in the potato half and sprinkle about a half a teaspoon of paprika on top of it to make it real pretty. 
and bake it for about 450 degrees for about 15 minutes and it ought to be lovely. Ought to be just wonderful. Ought to be, but we'll see. <laughs> Ought to be ain't necessarily so. Yeah, that's right. Well, I tell you, that soup looks real good. Well, it does. It's a oh, lovely, lovely soup. Creamy and as easy as pie. That you have made or up soup there. in this case. Well, now, let's see. Is Ms. Witch ready? I think Ms. Witch is supposed Somebody to Somebody tell Ms. Witch to come bouncing in. Call her broom in here. Just <laughs> <laughs> and uh, let's see what... Uh, kind of mail she's got for us this week. Here she comes. Whoops! Grab her. Come here, woman. Bye. And toodaloo. <laughs> Holy Ooh. cow. God, that, she almost, that was a uh, supercharged departure. Oh, it's a long letter. And it's a good thing, too. <laughs> <laughs> Read the letter. Oh, excuse me. <laughs> Dear gentleman, it says. And I don't know which one they're talking about, but anyway. All of us here at the Sweet Redemption United Baptist Church of the Holy Mother of God have a terrible problem and think that you might be able to help us. Our pastor, the Reverend Durwood Thump, is leaving because malfeasing on some of the church funds which he claims to have spent helping the homeless. The homeless one in question was one Ms. Chichi LeFrancois, who is a dancer in a roadhouse not too far from here. She was homeless last Friday night when the Reverend took her in. <laughs> of course, the problem was that he took her into the church social room and was being very social with her when old lady Preston came down there to get the vases to use for the flowers for Sunday morning. <sighs> to say goodbye to the Reverend, we are having a little potluck supper, which is all that we can afford since the Reverend gave right smart of the fuds to Miss LeFrancois. <laughs> which is what got him in so much trouble to begin with. What we want to know is, do y'all have any recipes that would be suitable for this occasion? <laughs> Thanks for your help. I know the Reverend will appreciate one last good meal before he hits the road. <laughs> God bless you both. Darcel McGee and Letitia Southern, supper chairpersons. <laughs> Well, I, <laughs> well, the longer letters the witch well, has I, ever brought us. I thought maybe we ought to have it so that we could uh, figure out. So next week we'll do a potluck supper. Oh, hot day. Okay. Well, let me get out this fine, well, well take baked the soup uh, over here. items from the oven here. A lot of kissing. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, Lord. <laughs> I forgot oh. to put anything to get these hot things. Out. They are steaming. Listen to them. Well, they oh. look wonderful. <laughs> They're so brown and pretty. They are. <laughs> <laughs> Let me get you one of these. All right. You know. Well, they just look real precious. Well, they are lovely, aren't they? Mm-hmm. Oh, Lord, soup has developed it's the skin on it. scalding hot. <laughs> no, it isn't. It's, <laughs> it's developed potatoes. the skin on it. Oh, I this, want to try this, this soup potato. has an epidermis. Huh? Pull up next to your mic and speak. Oh, no. No, don't do that. <laughs> oh, it belches. Isn't that cute? <laughs> okay. I swear. Mmm. The These soup. These potatoes are wonderful. Peanut butter soup. Is it good? Mm-hmm. It tastes like peanut soup. Well, it's got green peas in it. But it tastes like peanut soup. Mm. It's really quite good. It really is. Let me try one of these taters. I told these taters Ooh, to come out, all right? But, oh, they're delicious. Mm. You will love this meal. I might have to have the rest of mine. Last week's was so bad, and this week's is so good. Well, let, let's look at some of the mail. Do we mm. have enough time mm -hmm. to do it? Yeah, we can one minute. One. Um, this lady says, I drool over some of the recipes and some I wouldn't care for. Ha. Huh. Laban's liver and noodles looked uh, so good, I could almost taste it. Uh. Also, see, somebody liked the liver. Also, Larry's zucchini omelet. Mm. This is my first letter, but there have been many I would uh, recipes I would have loved to have. Mm. Uh, maybe I can get the cookbook soon. Well, we hope you can. And that's from... Uh, 
Ms. P.H. Tuggle in Brookneal, Virginia. Well, mm. thank you, Ms. Tuggle. Isn't that a wonderful name? That is. That's it. That's all oh. the time we oh. have. we oh, got to go no. away from here. We've had a good time. I hope you have, too. Wonderful. Mm.